welcome to Yinka and Friends. Today I'm at Pimps and Pinups talking to Jamie George about his journey into music and also seeing if we can sort out that hair of his. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Do you like our surroundings? I love it. I love it. We're all pimps out. We're all pimps yeah. out. Yeah. So for those who don't know about you, about you musically, yeah. tell us a little bit more about, about Jamie George. Um, Jamie George is a guy with curly hair. Yes, who, very uh, curly hair. Yeah. Um, bit of a weird one. Like I started out as a DJ, mm -hmm. got into production, like a natural progression, and then kind of found myself wanting to know the ins and outs of music as a whole. And um, yeah, kind of got into songwriting, did a few bits for like boy bands and stuff like that, writing. And then the way that Jamie George come about, because I used to call myself JT, I was like bad boy MC JT, <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, and then Jamie George come about where I kind of got fed up with talking about going to a club and buying bottles of Moe and, yeah. and meeting that girl in the club. Because like, for me personally, it's a lie, like, it's not like it, your yeah, real life. yeah. So I started being a little bit more like observational about what I do, looking out the window, thinking, what would I like to be doing right now? And then started writing songs about day-to-day -day events, and then I come up with a song, "Wonderful Day," um, which was literally about going to the park or just doing whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. And I kind of entered it into a competition, and it kind of done pretty well. And um, yeah, and then I met Roska from there, and then kind of all stemmed off. Like, yeah. I've been involved in music for years, like years and years. My dad was a DJ. Yeah. Nothing big or anything. He just, well, he thought he was like big man DJ, but he weren't. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was better than him. I was better than you, Dad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so it kind of all stemmed from a love of DJ and music as a whole, and then just making it my own, but making it more about real life and yeah. Then, yeah relatable so is that is that what inspires you like every day thing? yeah i'm a bit of a people watcher yeah like, not in a way Are you like, a bit of a voyeur I, no like if i see someone drop i'll, I'll laugh at them <laughs> and that. yeah but i'm not like a stalker or anything yeah <laughs> but like i mean like observational things like um the song take me there mm -hmm. it's about the feeling of when the music takes over you yeah. and obviously being festival season you see the audience and the way that they react to music and stuff and it's like that feeling of when you feel that, that beat or whatever, just literally, when you're caught in that moment, just takes over you. So yeah. it's kind of, everything that I write is kind of relatable to me or like, I like it to be relatable to anyone. Like, you know, like I'll, I'll even write a song about having a cup of tea, if people can relate to it and yeah. go, oh yeah, yeah, I drink tea. Because it kind of gets you that little bit closer. Like you're you know connected I mean? to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So more specifically, like how did you get into the, the music business? Like, when did you decide, yeah, this is it, this is what I want to do? I kind of fell into it. I, I think um, when, I, when I was a DJ, I used to yeah. be a scratch DJ. Okay. And um, I got asked to do some scratching and stuff like that. And I got involved with like MCs and it was, uh, I was very involved in like the garage scene. Mm -hmm. Loved garage, still do love garage. And I used to scratch over garage. And then I, I, thought, I thought I'll give MC in a double. And I used to like, because I was so influenced by hip hop from the scratching, I was like doing this American thing and yeah. I could not get the British thing down. <laughs> and I was just like that waste man that'd be like, oh yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> kind of no. like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, um, and it was from there that I kind of moved forward, but kind of become a little bit more melodic with what I was doing. And um, yeah, kind of just stemmed on from hip hop into me trying to be a bad boy MC, which I never was ever going to be. And then kind of, yeah, moving into production and then trying out a few things. And So do you still have like control and like influence over the production side of what, of what you do? I mean, I'm, I'm, I still just make music at home in, in my little room that I've got. Um, and I'll come up with ideas and melodies and send it out to producers or whatever. Um, but there's a time sometimes where I'll get sent music. Yeah. And say the Take Me There single, when it when it first got sent to me, 
it didn't sound anything like it sounds now, okay. but and it had more like lyrics in it, and then it was just like a compromise and just of getting it how I wanted it, and then how Shinoda wanted it, and so I kind of do have an influence, but I think from a production point of view, there's only so much that I can say. I, I know how I want my voice to sound, yeah, but they know how they want the end product like the to, sound. Yeah. to sound, yeah, yeah. So as much. As I would love to be like, no, that, 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 you've got to take a step back and let yeah. them do the thing. Because obviously that's, that's what they're there for. That's why they're known producers and successful because they're good at what they do. So, so what, is, what is next for you in, in the future? What do you hope to do? Um, I think next for me is like more EPs, yeah. more music, more writing, hopefully more events and stuff. I, I really want to do a live show. Uh, I want to play with, you know, a live band. That's like a big goal of mine. And um, just take it from there. Um, it's like one step at a time. I, will, I think I believe that everyone's got their time to shine. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, you know, you never know. You might see a little bit more of my little barnet, like bobbing about. <laughs> Which somewhere. we're going to sort out yeah, right now, yeah, hence yeah. the location. Yeah. I want to uh, thank you for joining me. No, thank you. It's absolutely And pleasure. everyone should go get Take Me There. It's out now, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you.